Kia ora te iwi and I am trackside at the International Track Meet 2022. And I think Hayden Wild might have got Chanel Muir on the line there. What a finish. Very close, looks like Rosie. Oh no, that's going to be a photo for first. Way first time, Amy Robinson very fast over those first couple of hurdles. Oh, but she's hit one. Looks like she's stopped. Julia Burnham still going through. Christina Ryan on the right. Maggie Jones coming through, Julia Burnham and Christina Ryan. Maggie Jones might just, oh, very close there. We'll have to wait for the photo. It's very, very quick. Um, just had to make sure I didn't get carried away by the hurdles, but it was a good race with, good, with a good group of girls. He's away very quickly. You can see his class right at the start. He's getting ahead. Joshua Hawkins leaving it, Jack Henry on his right. James Sandyland's coming through, former New Zealand champion on the side, but Joshua's led the way and looks like Jack Henry might have just put James Sandyland's. Tailwind helped a lot, I'm sure all the boys were happy it wasn't a headwind, but a lot of fun, uh, clean, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for Nationals next week. happy with today's conditions getting 78. We just got to get out there and have fun and it's good to be healthy and competing before nationals. So, um, Well we've got Oceania's in June so that will that's kind of our aim. I'd like to get in the top three of that. I got fourth last Oceania's in 2019. I'm going to Sydney Track Classic at this stage um, so that will be really cool to add on continue on the season. I know that there's I know there's a couple of comms qualifiers in me um, but you know it's just all up to weather and other conditions so we'll see. So Ethan Smolle still leads with Cameron Avery behind him, then Hayden Wild, Saxon Morgan, another triathlete tucked in behind there. Ethan Smolle just extends it out a little bit, working really well into the wind just to lead these guys along to a solid time. Hayden Wild comes around, Cameron Avery is chasing the pacemaker. So Ethan Smolle will be just getting them to a thousand here, trying to take the wind as much as he can. And he steps aside and then it's Hayden Wild, Chanel Muir right behind him. They've opened up a good 20 or 30 metre gap. Looks like Cameron Avery leading the second group. Charlie Hazlitt's in there. Will Little, Saxon Morgan still there. Wild still leads. Muir on his shoulder, 120 to go now. They'll feel the southerly come in behind them. And there goes Hayden Wild. He's got the arms going, but Chanel Muir's stepping up as well. Big long strides. And it looks like Chanel's, just, oh, they're neck and neck. Hayden Wild's not going to give it up. Oh, and I think Hayden Wild might have got Chanel Muir on the line there. What a finish. Yeah, well, uh, I normally don't have a kick, so I was actually pretty, I was pretty happy with myself getting that little dip in the line there. I was like, I was talking to Sam pre-race and he was like, 400 meters got to hurt, just surge every 100 meters. So I was like, surge, surge. And then I did some biking tactics. So I went up to like fourth lane. So <laughs> old mate got a big ass headwind and I think we both suffered there. And he got in front of me at the like last 50. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to go. And got him. <laughs> I don't think, um, like realistically, I won't be close to the uh, uh, the Commonwealth Games qualifier, but I'm going to go out real hard. Uh, I'm going to try and aim for uh, sub 30, 40. I'm going to put it out there and just give it a go. And if I blow, if I, if I blow, I blow. Like, that's just kind of how I race. So I'll see if I can get there to the end. I think I snuck away with PV, so happy with it. You're repping the, the Whippets Running Project today. Uh, can you tell us about this new running club that's been formed? Yeah, well, we've started in Auckland. Um, we felt like running needed a, a new generation of, of athletes and you know, a new club for the face of it. And uh, I'm a founding member and I've, I've just moved down to Crusher, so trying to just build it a little bit more down here. Something a bit more social. 
and they're off. And now they're closing up a bit. Eva Pringle coming down the inside, just closing up, coming past Penelope Salmon, staying right up there. As they come through now, 400 metres and 110, so right on pace. So Neve Motley leaves, Susanna Lynch, Bella Brown, Penelope Salmon, Tilly Hollier. Bella Brown, Penelope Salmon and Tilly Hollier, the two taller figures in the middle there. Eva Pringle also has a very strong finish. And then Chloe Brown on the back of the bunch. Penelope Salmon has decided to make a bit of a move. She's come around the outside and put the pace on a little bit. Tilly Hollier responds. She's tucked in right behind her, letting Salmon do the work. Both run under 4.30, which is a, a big time for one recently. You see the long stride of Penelope Salmon off to Harvard, as I mentioned earlier. Fantastic runner. And so Penelope Salmon, the winner in 4 minutes, 48.93. It felt very hard down the back straight with the win, but luckily I was so grateful for the first two laps that we had a pace and I was kind of sitting third or fourth, so I had some people to block the win for me there. And then I knew when I got down that back straight, I just had to shorten my cadence like I've been practicing at training to make sure that I could get ahead on that last lap. Now, a little birdie tells me you're actually off to Harvard University shortly. And when, when do you depart? I depart in August and I'm really, really excited. Yeah, yeah, I love the team and I love the coach, so I'm so, so excited to be going there. Now, I noticed as well, as you cross the finish line, some of the other girls were saying congratulations on the prize money here on offer today. Uh, and you gave a little bit of a whoop whoop, uh, which is exciting. Isn't it great to have prize money for athletics competitions in New Zealand? Definitely, definitely a good motivation and good excuse to come down here to race. Susanna Kennelly, 15 year old. Holly Robinson here, Holly Robinson. Uh, Paralympic champion in the javelin, and who's also dabbling her hand. I was just notified a couple of months ago that shot put has been added for my classification for the next Paralympics, which is really exciting. We only had on offer one field event before that, so we have a chance at um, doing both now, so that's pretty exciting. And were you happy with your shot put today? It's definitely a work in progress. <laughs> But it's been really nice to try and focus on something new and, and you know I used to do it when I was young but I haven't done it for a number of years so it's really nice to sort of start from the beginning and start to learn as I guess a newbie athlete. Liam and Chuck Wolf take to the ring fresh from his personal best in the hammer. I felt in a few of the throws I moved pretty well uh, and uh, yeah it was actually it wasn't all bad for sure they obviously wanted to throw a little bit further but you always learn things from every competition you're always in after after the big show world indoors so there to, to get my third title in a row so uh, body's in really good nick at the moment I'm really happy with where things are at technically things have just got to come together a little bit just timing wise uh, things are a little bit off at the moment but it always happens to me every year so uh, I feel like I can get it sorted in the next uh, you know, it, could, it, only, it only takes one throw or one session, so uh, it's just around the corner. I guess the big thing is uh, not to try too much, because as soon as I start trying and trying to hit positions or trying to you know, muscle it or something like that, it never goes well for me. How much are you looking forward to getting over to your major championships? Two world indoors in Belgrade in Serbia. I know you love the big show. Uh, what's it like lining up against the big boys of World Shot Put? Oh look, there's nothing else like it. Um, it's it's the thing that gets me out of bed every morning, uh, on cold days, warm days, you know, whatever. When you're hurting, uh, it's the thing that kind of you know keeps me going. So um, it's something I pride myself on, is always showing up uh, in the shape to win. Uh, and I think I've proven that over the last five or six years. And um, most of the time, I've got pretty close, if not done it. So uh, that's the goal again this time around. Jess Vogel and Julia Burnham on the outside and Georgia is a strong finisher and she leads into the straight. Rosie Elliott's powering there though, both of them driving home. Anna Percy coming there as well. Very close, looks like Rosie. Oh no, that's going to be a photo for first. Yeah, it's pretty windy, pretty good, but it was an amazing race. And to have Rosie there the whole way, it's a great race and it shows what there is. There's more there in the future. Yeah, no, it's really important. It's nice to have a hit out before nationals as well. I love being there. My mum and dad are helping out, volunteering, so are some friends. So 
We have some familiar faces. Max Atwell, I think this is warming up in the discus here. Ready to get underway. We've got a mixed discus as well. See Tatiana step into the ring. 54-48, only recently within the last couple of weeks. Clips the net on the way out, but a nice flight. That's what we're looking for. Florence had a couple of fouls and a throw in the low 60s to date. Shot put went okay. It was just shy of the PB that I did at Cook's Classic and hammer I threw uh, 65, which was okay. We were thrown into a pretty strong headwind and I was throwing out the back, which has a tail and they were going reasonably fast. So it was kind of... Kind of a shame, but yeah, we got um, some things that we needed out of the comps today, so yeah. I'm going to be heading over to Melbourne in mid-March. Um, Dale's moving over there and I'm going to continue working with him there until we head to Europe in May. And then, yeah, we'll get a, co a couple of high-level comps over there and hopefully be back for Oceania's in Oz. And then World Champs, I've still got to get an auto-qualify for that, which is not an ideal position to be sitting in right now, but that will come, and then we've got Com Games pretty, sh uh, pretty soon after that, which, yeah, exciting, pretty jam-packed year. Oh, stumbled out of the blocks there, and they're pulled back. Driving out hard and fast, straight away. Look at that stride, he is driving around. He'll be getting that southerly behind him now, standing up tall and carrying on to the finish. Big long stride, Tian Welton, South African born, Asha Pettengel Brand on the inside in second, Jordan Veach coming home with his 400 metre strength. The goal for today was just to be able to pick the feet up on the home straight and as you can hear twice as tired as normal so <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I'm um, not pretty good, happy with that. Is there an event you're targeting for qualification for major championships this year? Probably more than 100 metres I'd say, my training hasn't been too geared towards running this distance so yeah more than 100 for sure. Plans are to go to Australia, do the Australian Nationals and then Brisbane Track Classic. Must be so nice to run in your home track today. Oh for sure, to be able to sleep in my bed and you know, wake up and just come, I live just around the corner so it's fantastic and uh, yeah, not awesome to run here, I love it. Macy Hilton on the outside, earlier progress and Laura Smith in the middle there is the pacemaker so they'll be using her into the wind, she's just got a bit of a lead on them. Macy Hilton on the inside there, we've got Cara McDermott, Macy Hilton, Catherine Camp, Kira Hall, the other outstanding junior coming around the outside, Rosa Twyford there from University of Canterbury as well. Laura Smith takes him through 400 and is still going. Cara McDermott boxed in a little bit, Rosaria Gibson coming around the outside, Kira Hall, 16 year old Kira Hall in fourth place there, she's got a very strong finish. Got Emma Ferguson and Rosa Twyford both there, Rosaria Gibson as well. And Catherine Camp has gone at 200 metres, made a bit of a burst. Cara McDermott chasing, Kira Hall coming around the outside. Rosa Twyford from the University, big long strides coming down. She's looking good, at who's going to take second? Catherine Camp has got this absolutely wrapped up and it's going to be a photo. Cara McDermott and Rosa Twyford just heading off Kira Hall. That wind was pretty rough out there today, but yeah, I knew if I could just get to that top 200 and then finish strong the wind would push me along so yeah the last 200 was definitely pretty good. <laughs> and they go through the 200 in about 25 seconds which is spot on. James Preston looking for a very fast time here. James Harding's in there, he's the world junior qualifier already. Dylan Ford, Dominic Devlin coming round. Russell Green in there looking for a huge personal best. 119 through 600, so let's see what happens here. James Preston starting to work, he's worked, oh, taken all that work into the win. Sam Tanner's sitting on him, Harding and Devlin, the other sub 150 runners are there. Sam Tanner is working hard and James Preston looking very strong though. And he's just striding away. Dominic Devlin's coming around, James Harding for third place. The strength of Russell Green coming through, he's got the 1500 strength and that was 147 we think. Brandon pretty solid run so can't really complain. Uh, Sam Tanner, a Tokyo Olympian in the 1500, great to see him out there racing the 8 though today. Uh, how was it racing him and do you feel like you got one up on him after that race now? Don't think I got one up on him, maybe if I could bet him over the 15 which would be a pretty big run but nah, it's certainly good to have a couple of quick guys there, I think that's really what I've been lacking the rest of the season so. What's your plans uh, for the rest of the year? Yeah, so I'm going to race in Sydney and then Melbourne, um, maybe Brisbane after that.
A oh, great jump by Adam Stack. He's very happy with that. It is Thomas Maloney out of Auckland City. It's a nice clearance from Thomas. And here's Hamish. Oh, easy first clearance there. Hamish Kerr, 2.10 today, just one jump in the competition. Yeah, for me it's just it's just about minimising injury and, and making sure that I'm all good for the next few comps. So yeah, I came out, did a jump and yeah, body's just feeling like it's probably a little bit on the edge, so I just decided I'd just pull it. $25,000 has been given away today to these athletes for their prize money, which is hugely significant. So thanks so much to all those who have made that happen. It's been a fantastic afternoon of athletics. Thank you so much for joining us at home and we'll see you back next year at the ITM 2023. Since 2009, Christchurch has hosted the International Track Meet, showcasing track and field to the world. Assisting our brightest athletes to develop from talented teens to Olympians, athletes like Tom Walsh and Angie Petty. Now we invite you to compete. The Fast Five is your five kilometre road race. A scratch start, teams based road run, finishing on the athletics track at Napuna Wai. The Fast Five is a key fundraiser for the International Track Meet and an integral part of the weekend. Now you and your friends can compete. Five kilometres at your pace. Plus, catch New Zealand's best athletes live in action at ITM. The Fast Five is for everyone. Three person teams, five categories. Corporate, crew, college, club or coach. Assemble your team for a fun Christchurch weekend. Support NZ's best athletes by supporting the Fast Five and International Track Meet. Big City Marathon meets National Road Relay meets Corporate Challenge. Another great event brought to you by International Track and Field Trust.